Welcome once again to the Josh and Ashley Show. We've got lots of music for you today. We're going to be singing a lot of songs that I hope will be a blessing to you. And we're going to start off with a little song today. We had the privilege of going to visit country music legend George Jones just a few years ago. George Jones, the possum, as they called him, country music legend. We were able to visit him there in his home right before he passed. We were able to sing the old rugged cross. It was a beautiful moment that we have there and uh, there was a uh, right before George passed he was getting ready to do a gospel recording it's going to be his last recording but unfortunately it never came to pass but there was a little song that George was going to record that we just so happened to get our hands on and were able to record that song now we're no George Jones of course but the song is a really good little song and I think you're going to like it as well it's got a little country twang to it it's got a little fiddle in it it's got a little acoustic guitar, and, and, and we're just going to have a little fun today singing this little song. It says, I'll leave it behind, and we're going to do that someday, all right? We're going to leave it all behind. Troubles, cares, trials, it's all going to be gone, okay? Listen to this. You can call me anything you want to call me. You can say anything on your mind.
Welcome back to the show today. We're so thankful to have you watching. Real fast, if you know of a friend who would enjoy this program today, please grab out your cell phone and, and call them or text them and let them know that we're here today on yes. the air. We'd love to have you watching with us. Absolutely. You can also find us on all social media sites, Josh and Ashley Franks, as well as our website, joshandashleyfranks.com. Most people want to know about our story, how Ashley and I met, how that uh, we got acquainted, and, and uh, they want to know about some of the things that happen and go on in our life. So I'm going to turn the floor over to you for a minute. Oh, no. And I want you to tell them <laughs> just a little bit uh, briefly of how that we came together. Oh, sure. So um, I believe the year was 2006. It I was. was just fresh out of high school, and my mom and I had a gospel group together. Uh -huh. We had started when I was in the 11th grade, and um, we went our first trip to the National Quartet Convention. In Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. And I was like a kid in a candy store, all those gospel groups and tables yeah. and showcases and concerts. And so we had gotten a, a spot to sing on a Monday showcase. And I remember this little bit skinny boy sang right before our group sang and so we were sitting on the front row waiting for our turn to sing right. and Josh got up there and he sang and he was like this big and his voice was like this big and so um, we stopped you off the stage that day and you told did. you how incredible we thought you did and yeah. just how surprised we were to hear that big voice come out and um, that's the first time we met. It was mm -hmm. and then fast forward uh, after we left convention that week uh, at that time, the social media site that was so popular was something called MySpace. Now you're telling how old we are. Now I'm telling how old we are. And then uh, she was on there. She begged me to marry her. Whoa, whoa. I felt sorry <laughs> for her. I gave in, and here we are today. I don't remember it quite like that. Okay, well, maybe I stretched it a little bit. <laughs> but I remember it wasn't long that uh, we began to build a relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got engaged and Just we were a few married. months later. And then uh, God had now has blessed us. Ten years of music, mm -hmm. ministry, and marriage. Uh, two children later, Priscilla Rose, seven years old. Joshua Eli, who is four years old. And now we're pastoring a church in Savannah, Tennessee. Life is great God getting better. has blessed <laughs> us tremendously. And I want, I want you to know today, uh, for those of you that are watching uh, the Josh and Ashley Show, Show today that if you will just wait for the one that God has for you, your soulmate, that if
if you'll just wait for that person to come into your life, they will come in God's time. Never did I expect that we would get married at such a young age. Some people uh, get married at a young age and, and uh, they, they're, they're married for 50 and 60 years. Some people, uh, they, they have to wait until they're in their 20s and 30s. And, and sometimes people doesn't get married until they're in their 40s. And, and, uh, but be that as it may, it doesn't matter. Uh, there is someone out there for every right. individual. And God has orchestrated and ordained marriage as a beautiful sight in the Word of God. And that is for man and for woman together. Mm -hmm. Now, here we are. Uh, we're hosting weekly the Josh and Ashley show uh, uh, with all of the other busyness of life. And you know what's even great about this? God it just continues to pour out His blessings upon us. We have wonderful people just like you that are watching each and every week. Your encouraging words, your comments, your positive thoughts. And we just want you to know that we appreciate you so very much. Now, when we got married, I have to say, Ashley was from a little town called Heflin, Alabama, Not too far where she from was here. born and raised. I came from Savannah, Tennessee, catfish capital of the world, living on the banks of the Tennessee River there. We got married. I moved her up to Tennessee, <laughs> took her to Walmart, bought her a pair of shoes, and I've been buying shoes ever since, if you now, know what I mean. I was collecting shoes long before but I But here we you. are today, and we got a little <laughs> song about it. We're going to sing. Yeah. All right, kind of tells my story of where I come from. I hope you like this little song. Yeah, let's sing let's it. it. Moving to the city. Come on, honey. Tennessee's <laughs> where I call home, where there's lonely pine and the deer still roam. Smoky Mountain is the highest hill. Turkey Creek flows down to Tills Mill. Yes, I'm a country boy, as anyone can tell. <laughs> Built a lot of cows out of loaded hay. Chop wood till my hands ache. Yeah. Old corn till I couldn't no more. Country folk out there. We earned a living by the sweat of our brow. We worked hard and we lived proud. Yeah, this country life I love. But I'm moving to the city one of these days. I'm moving to the city one of these days. I'm moving to the city, gonna stake my and Ashley show today. Why don't you write to us? We want to hear from you, all right? Let me tell you this little story. Just across the creek Where my life was made complete There's a church Where I gave my heart and soul Oh, we laughed and we cried When the Spirit came inside oh but ever since that day i've been looking for a city far away i'm moving to the city one of these days i'm moving to the city gonna stake my claim where the milk and honey's flowing that's the place i'll soon be going where the street City one of these days. Oh, yes, I am.
You know, Ashley and I, we were privileged. The Lord has given my wife a wonderful gift of writing music. We were privileged to, uh, we were at home one day, actually, when the Lord really began to deal with you about a certain song. And I want you just to share briefly before you sing that song of how it came about. Sure. So um, I had a really close friend in, in my high school days, and um, she actually got married just a couple of weeks before Josh and I did. And yeah. and very early into their marriage, they became they became, became with child. And um, so they were expecting, they had a beautiful baby girl. Girl. And um, she was about three months old, and she passed away. It was a unexpected. Mm-hmm, it was a, a crib death, and um, as you can imagine, I'm from a small community, and our our little town was just devastated. And you know, a lot of times as a Christian, we try to um, figure out where God is in situations like that. And I just could not imagine you know, the feeling as a mother and losing that child. And a lot of times for me anyway, when something like that happens, my grieving process is is to write a song about it and to try to um, understand. And so I did just that day we were at home and I just began to think about how, um, you know, for a Christian, uh, that mom is going to see that baby again one day. She's going to get to hold her daughter again. And um, so this song was sort of birthed out of that situation. And you know what, for those that may be watching today, Day. Maybe they've lost someone dear to their heart and life over the Christmas holidays. You know, we were unfortunate uh, to have to lay to rest several different individuals. Death is no respecter of person, whether as Ashley mentioned, the three month old little precious baby, or Ashley's cousin who passed away uh, at the end of 2017, 42 years of age. We buried a precious dear sister in our church, 90 plus years young. And, and all of this has happened, and it seems like death comes again, and, and it's no respecter of person. And today, maybe you you've lost someone that is dear and near to your heart. But I want you to know, as I often say, that we don't say goodbye. We just say, see you later, because this is not the final resting place. The grave is not the end. There is a better home prepared for those on high. And today, with the promise of God that we have, we're going to meet again in heaven's bright shore. Ashley, would you sing this song and bless these people today? It's not the end. Hold on, child. Your hope is found in Jesus. We're going to meet again. Amen. There was a mama and a daddy with a baby girl. She came unexpected. She was their world. Every day they thanked the Lord for her. When she was three months old, God called her home. She left her mom and daddy all alone. And hearts were broken when the news was heard. So they hid their knees and asked the Lord why. As they prayed for answers, this was God's reply. It's not. It's not the end. And so the years flew by and God healed the pain. And he gave them the strength to move on again. And they grew old and had three more little ones. And when the children all grew up and they were all alone, she was lying on the couch one night when he got home. He tried to wake her up, but she was gone. And so he hid his knees and asked the Lord why.
Hope today you've been encouraged. Hope you found hope and strength in these songs. Maybe for those of you that are watching who've lost your loved ones. We don't have a lot of time left today, but I want to encourage you very quickly to visit us online at joshandashleyfranks.com. Let us know that you're watching and enjoying the program today. They can also find us on social media at... Well, just type in Josh and Ashley Franks, and there we are. There will be. You'll find our mugs, as you will, and you'll be able to see us there at Josh and Ashley Franks. You'll see a, a schedule of where we're going to be, the itinerary. You'll also find a free email blast that we'll send out each and every week. You can keep up with us there, and you can find out what's going on on the Josh and Ashley Show. We have guests from week to week, and you'll be able to see who's going to be our special guest. And as always, I, I've got, I'm, I may be a little biased. But we have some of the best guests right here on the Josh and Ashley show. Tell your friends and your neighbors and let them know that you're enjoying the show and you're watching and you want to encourage them to watch as well. Well, it's been a great day today, hasn't it? You know, I've enjoyed it just being I us today. I have just enjoyed being here, being able to share our hearts with the people today. Maybe they've got to know us just a little bit better and hopefully we can know them a little bit better by them writing to us and letting us know that they're watching the program today. Hey, you know know what before we leave today it, we just hardly ever seem to go by on the Josh and Ashley show without singing one of those grand old hymns of the church out of the old red back church hymn so we might as well open it up today and sing one of them you know we're singing songs about heaven and about our going someday and about our getting there someday and we are going you know I've, I've made reservations as the old preacher used to say my bags are all packed my name's written down in the Lamb's book of life I've got my ticket in my hand. If the trump of God should sound tonight, I know that I'd go home. And you know what? It might just be today. Who knows? It could be next week. It could be next year. We don't know the day or the hour when the Lord Jesus shall return. But you know what his word says? He says, occupy until I come. So that means we got to keep pressing on. Yeah. We can't keep, we can't give up. We can't quit, but we got to stay on that firing line. And if we'll stay on that firing line, we'll make it to the very end. Page 212 in the Redback Church hymnal. Keep on the firing line. Well, let's sing it. Here we go. Like this right here. Come on. Shout out. 